for us, uh, we weren't guys who wanted to be in the spotlight. I didn't, Bob Welch didn't, Bert Hooten didn't, Dave Goltz and Rick Sutcliffe. They weren't the kind to clamor for the spotlight either. So uh, we let Fernando go just as um, uh, to see what was going to happen. We were as curious as anybody, particularly with the people coming into the ballpark. I think all of us recognize this is something we've never seen before as players. And there's a good chance we're never going to see it again. And we were pretty much ready for the show because we knew if Fernando won, that means the team won and it made our job just a little bit different. Now, Tom Lasorda, that was a different concern for him because Fernando was getting all of the attention and Jaime Hureen was doing the post-game translation for him. It made Fernando's situation a little bit easier for him to bear, for the team to bear, and everybody was in the midst of that adjustment. So Tommy calls the other four starters into his office and says, you know, we're having press conferences now for Fernando wherever we go because the number of reporters that want to talk to him is greater than the capacity of the clubhouse. So we'll call press conferences for Fernando whenever we're on the road or for whenever the day before, whenever he pitches at home and the press can get a chance to talk to him. Tommy thinking that would be upset, upsetting to the rest of us had made mention that you guys are going to have press conferences too. Now, I remember looking at Bert Hooten and Bert looking at me and we started laughing and Bert looked at uh, Lasorda and said, we don't need a press conference. In fact, we like the fact that Fernando's getting all the attention. And Tommy says, really? He goes, yeah, that means we can go out and do our job and not have to be bothered, you know, about explaining why we made a bad pitch or why we even made a good pitch and just allowed us to skate under the radar. 